Okay, so you want to start learning PHP and you're not exactly sure how to get started. Which applications you need to download, what versions, there's PHP, MySQL, Apache. Well, luckily there's an app that can help us with all of this. For Mac, it's an app called MAMP. And this installs Apache, MySQL, and PHP for us. So if we go to MAMP.info, we can go ahead and click on this download button and then it'll take us to the download page where we can click on the download and begin downloading the MAMP application. If you're on a Windows or Ubuntu, you can download ZAMP. It's at apachefriends.org, and you can download that for Windows, Ubuntu, or even Mac if you would like. But I'm going to go ahead and walk through uh, downloading and installing MAMP and MAMP Pro and kind of getting up and running with PHP. So as of this recording, we are at version 3.2.1. We can click on download, and it'll download to our computer. But to save some time, I've already downloaded this. So if I go to my downloads folder, I want to double click on the app and continue through the installation. Okay, and it'll take just a second for all of the files to get installed, and then we'll be up and running. Okay, so after that's completed, we can go ahead and close the installer, and we can close the folder. Now if I go into my applications, I'll see a folder called MAMP and another folder called MAMP Pro. Uh, MAMP is a basic version of MAMP that allows you to set up a basic web server. You can go to localhost and pretty much do like one website if you wanted to. If you want to do multiple websites on your local machine, you know, say you have a couple different projects, you'll probably want to download MAMP Pro. And MAMP Pro is actually a paid version, but you get 14 days free trial, so I would recommend checking it out. So I'm going to go ahead and open up MAMP Pro and enter in my credentials. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and click OK. And just like that, we have MAMP Pro up in front of us. And these tabs up here, what we have is our general tab, so we can see uh, which ports that all this is pointing to. We have our host, so we can set up local host or a different domain name if we wanted to, a local domain name. We have our modules, our PHP, MySQL. You don't really need to know what all this stuff is. Uh, the main part that we'll want to be messing around with is this local host. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this uh, default Apache port to port 80. This way we don't have to put in the port. If we were on the previous port, we would have to put in local hosts, colon, and then the port number. But I'm just going to change that to 80. And right now I'm going to just click on start and I'm going to start up the web server. Okay, and if it's started up successfully, you'll see Apache and MySQL started. So what we can do is just go to our browser and type in a local host. And if we install it successfully, we'll see a MAMP Pro, the virtual host was set up successfully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a virtual domain, which is a domain that's just going to point to a folder on my machine. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and just call this Sites. So I'll go to my Documents, and I'll just create a folder called Sites. And I'm going to move this over into my sidebar so I can access it anytime I want. And I have my Sites folder right there. And then I'm just going to create a new folder and just call this my first site. And I'm going to open up MAMP Pro. And I'm going to add a new virtual host and just call this my first site. And in the document root, then I'm going to select that the sites folder is where, or the my first site folder is actually where I want this to point to. And then an alias, I'll just call this site.dev. So now in my browser, if I point to site.dev, it's actually going to point to uh, this folder. So what I'm going to do before I go ahead and create that is I'm going to open up my first site in a text editor and I'm going to create a new file and just call this hello world. I'm going to save that as index.html and then I'll close that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these changes. I'm going to stop the web servers and then start them up again. Okay and after I've done that then I should be able to go over here and go to site exit dev if I go to that, then we have now our hello world. So that's just a basic example of using a virtual web host. 
But what we can do now is we can actually create like an index.php file and now we can use PHP. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up in my text editor again. I'm going to delete this file and then I'm going to create a new file. Go ahead and just open up PHP. I can say echo hello world. Then here we can do some basic math. So var1 equals 2 var2 equals 5. Then I can say echo var1 plus var2 just to kind of show you a little bit of math inside of PHP. So I'm going to go ahead and save that as index.php and now if I go to my web browser and I reload that page then I'll have hello world 7 and that's basically saying it's echoing out hello world and then we have the variables 1 plus the variables 2 and 2 plus 5 is 7. So that is just a very basic way to set up a local web server. Um, MAMP, sometimes people don't use it, sometimes people just want to use PHP, MySQL, Apache. And there's another thing called uh, Vagrants, it's getting really popular. Um, but for now, if you're just getting started, MAMP is a perfectly good way to get your local web host up and running, and you can start learning PHP and start having some fun.